Hey guys, it's EB with here Macintosh Tips. Uh, we're going to go over three things today, uh, mainly appearance wise. It's going to go over um, your uh, something called Doc Library and Docker. And also, the last application we'll go over today is uh, Candy Bar. These are mainly for appearance things. All right, we'll start our tutorial on appearance. Uh, three applications we'll be working on today is Candy Bar, uh, Doc Library and docker right there all right that's three applications we're going to go ahead and start with doc library which is right here all right doc library is a very easy way to organize your docs uh, and uh, switch them out very easily all right once you have uh, doc library once you download doc library the link is right over there uh, put it into your application folder um, and then you can go to leopard docs just type it in on google once you have leopard docs open Hit Browse All Docs. Right here. Browse All Docs. And you have all these docs to choose from. Alright. Once you have found a doc, here, let's just find something real simple. Like this piano here. You just hit Download. It takes five seconds to download. There it is. It's done. It'll be in my, app, my download folder here. If you have Leopard. And then you want to go to uh, Doc Library, press Import, find the uh, find that piano in your library. Press Open, and you can see it right there. It just showed up. Once piano is open, you make sure it has a yellow ring around it. Press Activate, and if you look at your doc, it has a piano now behind it. All right, pretty cool. All right. And of course, I've downloaded all these, so you can, you know, hit that, press activate, change it up, and I'll show you one more. And this one, hit activate. Now, some of them had different, like, usually your default has one little LED light by it. Uh, this one here has three, so if I hit activate, then of course, every application I have open will have three little LEDs by it. Pretty cool. All right. So that's the basis of Doc Library. Let's close out of that and go to uh, Docker. All right, Docker is almost just like Doc Library. It's a little uh, more advanced. Uh, if you just want a simple doc and change it up once in a while, Doc Library is the way to go. If you want to get a little more uh, in depth with it, I'd go Doc Library or System Preferences. All right, um, in Doc Library you can change either 2D or 3D. You can change your, your icons to transparent on and off. Um, change the different colors of the dock, the settings, the magnification, hiding your dock, stuff like that. That's also in system preferences. Um, adding stacks and adding spaces. All right, stacks is this right here. So if I want, I want it for my applications or if I want it for my downloads or whatever. And spaces. So if I hit spaces, add a space, and you can see right here there's a space. Now it's not uh, anything like an application or anything. So I can take that space and drag it around you see how my icons pop out of the way so say I want to have a space right here between my schoolwork I add another space so I have one right here and I have one right here come on space and just like that so I can like separate you know, stuff like that around my dock. To take the spaces off, you just drag them, pick them up, and help you see a little ball of air. And just like that. Alright, you can also go to, um, however you say this, um, dock icons, changing those up, and um, setting your locks, and also Docker. Alright, uh, for Docker, uh, we're about to go into that. But this is a uh, this is a Docker um, change your icons. That's really for Candy Bar, and I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, this is kind of the basic, basic uh, roundabout of it. And um, so that's that's Docker. All right, the, the description will be over there. Download it, put your application folder. Last but not least, we have Candy Bar. All right, Candy Bar of course is changes your icons. As you can see, you can see all these little icons here. Um, to change your icons, um, so if you're tired of looking at your hard drive, which I changed as you see here, 
Chuck Tyler looks in that gray hard drive. You can put an X for Leopard or whatever. Uh, if you want a different colored folder, you've, you've got a bunch of different folders here you can choose from. All right, whatever your preference is. So let's go into how this works. All right. Uh, first, you want to go to um, Safari or Firefox or whatever your browser is, and go to Enter Face Lift. Enter Face Lift. Click on it. I put the link over there. Interface list right there. All right. Go to icons. Once icons pops up, you can uh, search around by category or whatever. Let me just show you a basic drift of it. All right. So let's go. Let's look around. They've got hundreds of thousands of different um, icons you can choose from. Some of them are pretty childish. Most of them are pretty cool. All right. Let's look one more. Once you find a icon that suits you, then you will click on it. So this is the one I downloaded. You'll press download. It downloads and it'll go to your download folder. You take it out. I put mine on the dock here and it says Leopard. Alright, there's uh, a bunch of stuff in it. The really one, you only one you really need is the one that says Mac. And you've got a bunch of icons here. One is that one, that one, that one. Just go through them. They're right there. Alright. So what you'll do is you'll find uh, your icon or you take an to an icon folder and put it in your home your home uh, folder is the best way to uh, keep up with them. Go to candy bar and uh, find the uh, icon you want and drag it over into into your hard drive right here. Alright. So say I want to do this one right here. Pretty cool. You'll take it, drag it right here into your internal hard drive. You see how it switched over. And then you hit apply icons. And then uh, you'll restart your, your re, uh, start your computer and you'll see the icon has changed. Before I restart my computer, I'll show you some, some more. All right, you can change your CDs here, and they already give you some icons here. Um, now, so you can change your dock here, you can mess around with that. So, say I want to have my music uh, folder and my home folder changed. So, I'll find it. Here's my stuff here, and that one says music. Instead of just having a little folder with a music symbol on it, I want to have a music symbol, a blue one. So, I'll drag it, go up, leave it there, uh, log in and out, and then it'll be changed. Here I go been logged out, that's all it asked me to do. And you can see uh, on my internal hard drive, I can see a little upper X there. And if you look over to my internal hard drive up here, my icon is that Leopard X. And of course, I changed that music icon. So if you go to my home and look in my music, you can see that has changed. All right. So that is the basics of Doc Library, Candy Bar, and Docker. If you have any questions, leave a uh, video response or comment, and I'll make sure I get to that as soon as I can. And that has been my video. Uh, make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button. Leave a video uh, response, comment, and write, write five stars. Peace.